I know the shooter. I was on the bus with the shooter. I know his bus stop. In sixth grade, he screamed racial slurs at my Chinese friend at lunch. He was saying offensive and rude and annoying things in class, and a kid got up and punched him in the face. I don't want anyone to think that this is because he's mentally unstable. I'm pretty darn sure that he's just a sociopath that cannot be charged as an insanity plea. On Valentine's Day 2018, 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz allegedly entered Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High, the school he had been expelled from, and allegedly opened fire, killing 17 students and faculty with an AR-15 that he legally purchased. In the days that followed, many who spoke of Cruz said he was a troubled outcast, and it was no surprise that he carried out this heinous act. Now, I've talked about the fact that sometimes these individuals will present different personas to different peoples in different situations. And people always say, who does this kind of thing? And believe me, the FBI, the Secret Service, state, and local officials have all done profiles on these individuals and you hear a lot that these are kids that are loners, that they're marginalized, that they've been bullied, that they're picked on. But the truth is you'll see one profile that says that and another profile that says different. You see lots of contradictions. There's one set of core characteristics that seem to cut across all of this is number one, they do tend to have a lack of self-control. And this will show up in school, behavior at home, maybe with tantrums, maybe doing things on impulse that, that get them in trouble. So there's a definite lack of self-control. And then there's what we refer to in the field as the dark triad of personality. It's made up of what's called psychopathy, narcissism, and Machiavellianism. Psychopathy is defined by people that are non-empathetic, they do not have the ability to feel remorse, and they're disinhibited. Means they can't pump the brake, they can't inhibit their behaviors. Now, when I say non-empathetic, they absolutely have the inability to put themselves in someone else's shoes and imagine how it would feel to experience what they're feeling, which means they're really disconnected. You say, how can they go in and shoot innocent people? Because they, they, they have an inability to put themselves in the position of that innocent person and imagine how they would feel or how their family would feel if, if they were shot and killed or injured. There are kids that simply cannot do that. Now, Narcissism, they're grandiose, they, they look for self-gratification on an immediate basis, and of course they're very egotistical. People think these are folks that have low self-esteem and they do this to equalize themselves. That's not true, they're egotistical, they're entitled. They come in there with a sense of superiority and think they have the right to do what they're doing. And then this Machiavellianism, they're unemotional, detached, amoral, deceptive, and manipulative. Mm -hmm. He was very deceptive with you, he was very manipulative with you, and amoral in the sense that he didn't feel he owed you because you opened your home to him. He was not empathetic. He didn't say, look, these people deserve better from me. When you saw him, you yelled something at him. What did you yell? I said, really, Nick? Really? Yeah. I wanted to hurt him but I was being pulled back in the room right. by him and pushed off by guards. And what did he say? He mumbled something, but he thought he said he was sorry. Yeah. He thought he heard him say that. He, I, he, I he mumbled sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's sorry he's in handcuffs. He's sorry he's in the police station.